Hey guys, how's it going? And a lot of people have been asking me to go over this, so I decided, why not? I'll go over it. Um, it's the newest feature. That I think I said I would go over it back in my light detection video. Um, but this is just going to be a brief slash introduction to predicates, and they're fairly simple. So I'll keep it short and show you just some of the cool things, and you can dig deeper and figure out some other cool tricks yourself. So in predicates there, it's pretty simple. It takes... Um, a lot of what you would do with a loot uh, with a loot table or with a advancement criteria and just sticks that into one place that you can check in game. So the two new things added is execute if predicate and execute as at a predicate. So it's a predicate in the selector and a predicate in the uh, execute command. So really you're just trying to see if something's true or false. Uh, there's ways to trick it to make it give you number values which is what i showed with the light and i'll show it again here um but most of the time it's just true or false so for example i have this predicate and i can go a function that says coin flip so i can do coin flip and it says heads tails tails heads tails heads 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 50 percent chance um also every time i sprint it tells me that i'm sprinting so these are just kind of like simple the simple use of predicate which is mainly what i'm going to go over so to make any of this, you're going to need a data pack, and I have a separate video on how to make a data pack if you don't know how. Um, but basically, there is a new thing you add called predicates. It's a new folder you put inside your data folder. So you go data, the namespace of your data pack, and then you add a folder called predicates. And in there, you just put JSON files, and these JSON files are going to contain information. So we're going to go over the first one, and that's going to be uh, sprinting. I'll go over the light at the end because that just kind of shows like a what else kind of thing. Um, but sprinting is pretty simple. So what predicates do is it makes your life a little bit easier. So normally, if you want to check if someone's sprinting, there's a scoreboard that you can create that tells you when they're sprinting, and you can check if that scoreboard value is greater than one, and you can say sprinting, but then you have to reset the scoreboard value. So instead of checking and making a scoreboard you can do it all in one predicate and it's in a very nice organized fashion so you're going to go into predicates and make a new json file if you don't have one find someone some one from somewhere else or make a new one um, i copy and paste from other things most of the time and this json's file is looking like this um, i don't think this is actually necessary um, for it but uh, yeah so it follows a similar format to boot tables and such so a lot of your favorite generators do have the possibility to do some of this um, we can read it if we want but it's not necessarily important to memorize because they have generators for this um, but basically this is checking the entity's properties aka me saying if this entity aka me is a player and if this player is sprinting true then it will return this predicate will give a true output so anybody that has a predicate equal to this aka anybody that matches true to this criteria is going to say sprinting so that's basically how it works now to make these predicates i didn't hand type them i went to misodes.github.io slash predicate and this is a great generator it has i think all the stuff you can do and you can go here and explore because i'm not going to cover everything today um i use this kind of stuff for um a lot of other things uh, but anyways, so we can go to um, entity uh, entity properties. This is what I did. Then I picked this. You can pick killer or the killer player. Um, and then you can pick what entity it is. So this can work on other entities and just players. And you can check for MBT or if they're on a team or if they're at a location. Coordinates, if they're light levels, if they're standing in water, if they're standing in a block. Um, but that's probably... That's not what I did, so I just went to this place where it says sprinting, and I checked true, and it generates it here. So you just copy it, and you paste it into your JSON file like that. And once it's in there, you can just type reload, and the predicate will start working, given that you type the command right. So that's just a simple checking for a state of the player, but there's actually a lot more predicates, so I'm going to open all of these predicates, and we'll go over a couple of them, except for sprinting and except for daylight or light range okay um so the next predicate i created is one for raining so normally you can't check if something's raining but this is cool because they made it so now you can check for weather so you can do weather rain and now it screams raining at you weather clear it'll eventually stop screaming once it fully clears up 
So this is something you couldn't check before 1.15, which is pretty cool, or at least was very hard to check before. And all you gotta do is go weather, and you select raining true. And you can check if you want it to be raining and thundering, or I guess just thundering, um, or neither. I don't know what that would do. So that's just kind of cool, being able to check what weather it is. You can spawn certain mobs when it's raining, which is pretty nice. I don't think you could do that before. Um, so the next one, let me go into the functions, would be that coin flip one that I showed you. So this is using the RNG. So RNG is random chance. So we can go here, we can pick random chance. The chance is 0 0.5. That means there's a 50% chance of it being true or false. One would make it always, 0 0.1 would make it 10%, 0 0.5, 50% chance of being true or false. So all I have to do is when you play this function, it gets a little bit more complicated. So here we're first, we are storing the success onto a score of constant. And the success is we're checking if the predicate of RNG is true. So when you do execute if predicate, say sprinting, it'll say test failed because I'm not sprinting. If I say if RNG, well, I have a 50% chance of saying it passed. So passed, 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 failed. Okay, so 50% chance. Um, so then if I, could, I store the success onto a scoreboard, then my score here will be either zero or one, depending on whether it passed. So if it's zero, say tails. If it's one, say heads. So that's why when I play the coin flip, it says heads or tails randomly. You can use this to make really simple RNG systems. I'm going to probably come up with a new video with a newer RNG system that's more optimized because I have an old one where it uses two entities to do binary uh, randomization, but that's inefficient because it spawns two entities every time and kills them, which kind of is in way worse than using a predicate. Predicates are actually like really, really fast. They're super good and super efficient. They're in a lot of cases using a predicate instead of a few commands is better. The last one is just if a score equals to something. So this is just is5. So I just play this function is5. And it doesn't do anything. But when I set my constant score to 5, it says u is5. And to do that, you just go entity scores, this entity. And again, you can pick the same options. Then you type in the scoreboard objective. I typed in constant and clicked add. And then I just change this number to 5. Then I just copy this over. So predicates are pretty easy. They let you check for things that normally take a couple commands to check for. They do it really fast with uh, high efficiency with no need for extra scoreboards, which is nice. They also let you check for things that you couldn't before, such as light. And um, they are mostly true false statements, but you can trick them to be uh, different. So I'm just going to, now that that's pretty much the end of the video, but I'm just going to go over how I did the get light again. Uh, this was in a previous video, but this kind of has to do with the tricking part. So what I do is light range is between zero, min, and 14 of max. This is going to be a location check. And I create a loot table that says um, if that predicate is equal to zero, if that predicate returns basically. Well, okay, so light range checks if you're between zero and 14, uh, which just gives you true or false. So predicates, again, still true or false. Daylight is just going to be true or false. Is it 15? Yes or no, right? But you can use the same predicate things inside a loot table. So here we have a loot table that I wrote that uses the new predicate system, the new predicates with light. You couldn't do this before in a loot table. Um, so a lot of your old generators might not have it. Um, but basically this just does a location check to see if at this block the light is zero. If it is, then give them a golden hoe. If the light value is one, give them one golden hoe. If the light value is two, give them two golden hoes. And so on and so on and so on. And I've shown this off before. But we can loot all those hoes into a chest and store the result of how many went into a chest. And that's how you can get numerical values using the new kind of predicate system. But it's a little bit different than that. So go ahead and explore with it. See what you can do, how you can improve your commands or data packs by not having as many scoreboards. And check out this generator. Other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.